So for the past week, I've been uh, practicing something I came across called um, negative visualization. So basically, every morning you wake up, you imagine all the things that you're attached to. People, could be something materialistic like your laptop, phone. So you imagine all, all the things that you're attached to and you contemplate losing them. So either like one of your friends, your girlfriend, one of your family members dying, you imagine them, you prepare for the worst. Or, for example, your laptop getting broken, stolen or lost. So you think about all these thoughts first thing in the morning, you visualise it in your head and you prepare for the worst. Because eventually, because eventually you will actually lose them, like all the, all the things you're attached to that you love, that you came to that delights you eventually all of that things will will be gone so it's better to prepare yourself than you know imagining like you never thinking of losing them or they're gonna last forever which is not true eventually either you're gonna die or the person you like or the person you love or the family member is gonna die or something you're attached to materialistically they're gonna that, that, that's gonna get broken eventually you know what i mean so it's better to prepare yourself and and if you if you're more prepared you're more likely to appreciate it more whilst you have it so there is actually three benefits i've noticed in myself in the past week um doing um, negative visualization first is makes you appreciate the things and the people you have in your life even more because you know you have them for brief period of time because eventually they'll move on they'll stop talking to you or they might just die or you die so like whilst you have them you might as well appreciate it the second benefit is if something bad happens for example tomorrow somebody you love dies or for example your phone gets stolen because you love you're attached to your phone right because you check your phone so much it's useful but what if it gets stolen? But what if you've already <coughs> visualized that yeah, today my phone could get stolen. My, uh, if it could, it could break. How 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 would you deal with that situation compared to a person who, who takes it for granted his his phone or, or the people that he loves? You're gonna be the person who visualized it already that yeah, eventually I'll lose it. So I might as well um, appreciate it while I have it because. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next month, I'll lose it. So it makes you better prepared for the moment when you do lose that person or that thing. Of course, because you already visualize it. So you're telling yourself, I'm prepared for it. I'm prepared for the thing to die. Or the prepared, oh, I'm prepared to lose that thing, that materialistic. I'm prepared to lose my phone, my laptop, my books, the things I'm attached to. Third benefit is you're actually less less attached to the thing or person because you know eventually that that thing or that person will eventually die right because you know it's you have a limited time with that person or that people you're you you're, you're attached to that you love same goes for the for the materialistic things that you're attached to like for example your laptop you know one day is gonna break one day it might get stolen one day it's gonna stop working so you're gonna be less attached to it but it's because you know that that thing is gonna die is gonna stop working so you're not as attached so when that thing does leave your life you're not gonna be mourning over that for a long period of time you're not gonna be sad you're not gonna be you're still gonna be sad but you're not gonna be like sad sad where you get depressed because you already visualize that yeah this is temporary so i might as well make most of it whilst i have it because you know one day it's going to be gone so you've been visualizing it every single morning for a few minutes so you're less attached to it and and that's a good thing because eventually all we have is ourselves i'm my own person everything like i have my the only thing that i have control over is my mind basically everything else is external even my body to a, to an extent so if you're if you're less attached we're not likely to be you know becoming sad depressed and stuff we 
<laughs> especially to a point where we stop functioning, we stop we stop thinking clearly. Because at the end of the day, the only thing we should be attached to is our ourselves, like our thinking, because that's the only thing we have control over. We don't have control over the things we love, the people we love, because one day they might stop talking to us, they might die, the thing might get broken, that coffee cup might get broken because we're like doing something this year and it might break. So like if you imagine all the things we love we are attached to and imagine like losing them, preparing ourselves for the worst, we're gonna be better served. So I've been doing this practice for the for the past week and like I felt I feel like this like I'll just feel more calmer because I know and I feel more appreciative for the things I have. So I'm trying to make the most of it of the people that I have in my life and, and the things I'm attached to because I know eventually they'll be gone, they'll be dead and I prepare myself for it every day. I hope that helps.